Bitly's Plan Review solution automates plan review processes from intake of submittals through construction, reducing cycle times, eliminating paper, and increasing efficiency in finding information related to plan review processes. The solution is built with a highly configurable workflow engine. This workflow design tool allows you to configure your plan review process according to what fits your organization needs best. It can be used in conjunction with a major permitting system or standalone. The workflow you see here supports concurrent reviews so multiple departments can review submittals at the same time. Also, each task has specific properties allowing for plan review monitoring, performance metrics, and schedule calculations. The tasks you see here can be assigned to a group of people or one specific person and automatically sends out email communications when tasks are assigned or due. This sample workflow will be used for demonstration purposes. Having this workflow capability allows you to thoroughly track all activities, assignments, and progress related to your plan reviews. Let me show you an example of how you can leverage this information in the form of a dashboard. Here you can see I've switched into my internet browser. This is the main interface your internal users will leverage for executing plan reviews. In the center of the screen, we have an example dashboard monitoring all active plan reviews, as well as historical performance. You can see the number of active plan reviews, complete and running. You can see roles or groups of users that have had late tasks, indicating there may be a bottleneck somewhere in the process. Then, if we expand the commercial building category under active plan reviews, we see a list of running plan reviews with a health indicator showing which ones need attention. We can then drill down further and see this review has been stuck with Jane Reviewer for 15 days, causing the whole plan review to fall behind. You are now armed with information to establish performance metrics, process improvement, and fixing problems before they become problems. The next capability we're going to look at is how documents can be submitted from public applicants. The portal we are showing today is our standalone portal. This portal allows users to create accounts, log in, create plan reviews, upload files, revise and resubmit files, and monitor plan review progress. First we will log in as John Doe. After we log in, we create a new plan review to get the process started. Here we can provide some basic information about the plan review so internal reviewers will know what the plans are related to. The fields you see here are completely configurable to your specifications. After the plan review set is created, we can then upload our files. In this case, we have a simple drag and drop file upload control for users to upload their files. Once the files are uploaded, the list of files appears for final review. Then the applicant can submit them for review. Notice users can also submit comments or questions right from the portal. These comments are logged in the system, have a complete audit trail, and show up directly tied to the plan sets so there is no need to have to communicate via emails which aren't tracked and only one person can see. Once the plan set was submitted, an email notification would be sent to the lead reviewer group which has the skills necessary to perform intake. They could click on a link directly from that email or just go directly to the EB Information Manager login page in their browser, as seen here. The first screen, screen we see when logged in gives us all the pertinent plan review information from one navigation dialog. Here I can see my group tasks, the lead reviewer group in this case, I can see any current tasks that I have already accepted into my queue, all plan reviews that I have recently worked on, all plan reviews in the system by category, reports, and I could add links to pertinent information like building codes for use during the review process. Being I just received an email notification about a new task available, I am going to the group review queue to take a look at the task. Right away, I can see this is a completeness check. I have time to do the work, so I accept the task into my inbox so that others will know that it is already being worked on and no longer in the group queue. 
The process for each task is as follow. Receive notification. Log in and view the task. Accept the task. Do the work. And then complete the task. Assuming the lead reviewer has completed the completeness check and everything looks good, we are going to go ahead and complete this task to move the process forward in the workflow. After completing the task, we are prompted with selecting what reviews need completed for this plan set. I will select Building and Fire, then Complete. At any point during the plan review, we can always look at where the plan set is in a process by going to the workflow status information. You can now see the plan set is sitting in the Building and Fire group queues and all other reviews have been excluded automatically. Now I'm going to log out and back in as Tom Building, who has the skill of building reviewer. Then navigate to the building group tasks and accept the new task. We can navigate directly to the plan set from here by clicking on the plan set link. From the plan set, we can see or navigate directly to all related information, including the properties, the plan sheet documents, comments or questions, submitter information, and workflow status information. Let's navigate to plan sheet management and take a look at the plan sheets submitted as part of this plan set. First, I will select all the sheets and then choose View Files in Brava. The Brava Viewer is included as a PDF and image viewing tool in our solution. Other third-party tools for viewing and markup may also be used depending on your specific needs and preferences. In the Brava Viewer, there are several viewing tools to help reviewers navigate plans in digital form, including Zoom, Window, and Magnifying Glass among others. Also notice you can easily switch between plans through the navigation drop-down. To mark up files, simply click the annotate button to display the annotation toolbar. Then we can use the annotation tools to place some markups. Change marks give the ability to place a graphical indicator and add additional comments about that indicator as well as categorize the comment. Comments are also zoom aware, meaning when you review the comments, they take you to the same view level the comment was made at. Once our markup is complete, we can save it and give it a name relative to our markups. Then we simply close the reviewer to return to the plan sheets. In addition to craft capturing graphical comments on the plans, we can also add properties or comments inside of EB Information Manager. For instance, you can see the status columns out to the right. I am going to bulk update the plans that we didn't mark up to indicate approval. Now I can change the status on the marked up plan to revise and resubmit to indicate changes need made by the submitter. All of this information is reportable and auditable. Once the status is set, I simply complete the task to indicate that my work is finished for this plan set. Now let's skip ahead in our process to consolidating comments. Assuming the fire review we requested was completed in parallel to the building review. I am logged back into the system as Jane Reviewer and have already accepted my task for consolidating comments. I'm navigating to the file that we know has markups associated with it. Once to the file, we just launch Brava Viewer. This time, notice there, notice there is a red exclamation point in the upper left hand corner. This indicates that markups have already been made to the file. Click the review button to see what the markups are available. Here we can see that Tom B and Sally F have completed their reviews. 
Select both of them to see their corresponding markups. Now, with both sets of comments displayed, I can publish these comments to one consolidated PDF to be provided back to the submitter. Comments will be added to the PDF as regular Adobe comments so any user can open and view the comments. With the markups now consolidated, I'm going to switch back to the public portal and log back in as John Doe. Now we can see the status of the plan review is revise and resubmit. And I can download the markup that was published by the internal reviewer. Once the submitter reviews the markups, they can then submit a corresponding file back through the upload control. This function leverages the version control capabilities of EB Information Manager. Creates a new version of the file rather than complete replacing it. Here you can see the rev number has changed for that plan. Now the submitter can resubmit the file for review and run it back through the process. By enabling version control and keeping track of any subsequent versions of plans, we give internal reviewers the ability to compare between versions to ensure that the latest revision addresses the comments provided by internal reviewers. Here I am logged back into EB Information Manager. I have navigated to the file that was resubmitted and now launching the compare function. This launches the Brava viewer again, but this time with controls about how I want to run the comparison. Once the selections are made, we can then do a side-by-side -side comparison. We can also do an overlay to see the differences graphically. These tools make it easy for internal reviewers to get right to the source of the problem and verify the problems have been addressed. The review cycle you have seen would continue on until the plan set is approved. Once plans are approved, we recognize that they're still relevant to other processes that are continuing on related to the plans. One such example might be inspections. Because of this need, we provide mobile apps that give field users direct access to approved plans. Displayed on the screen now is our iPad app called Field Supervisor. Using this application, we can navigate through the folder structure, locate plans for the project, and view them directly on the iPad. Another capability we add is to verify that drawings are on site are the latest approved plans. Once plans are approved, we can render a barcode onto the plans. That barcode can then be scanned with a mobile device, which will call the EB Information Manager Document Validation Service and verify if it is the latest approved version, making confirming what is in the field and what is approved very quick and easy. In summary, with EB Information Manager, we can manage your plan review process from end to end, tracking all activities, people, communication, and schedules. The markup tools are yours to decide upon depending on your needs and preferences. Our solution provides complete enterprise level document control capabilities, including but not limited to version control, security, configurable properties, file management, and records retention. Records retention is an optional piece to our solution that allows you to specify how long documents or plans should be kept according to your organization's record retention policies. Here are the features included with this option. Mobile apps are provided to ease field access to documentation, and document validation makes it easy to confirm you are working with the latest information.